Welcome back, fellow milk drinkers, to yet another Monday Milk Review. My name is Jacob, and today we're going to be looking at Fruit Loops flavoured milk. Yes, you heard that correctly. On the back foot of the trend of Oak doing the Nutrigain flavoured milk, it seems that Paul's has followed closely and released both a Fruit Loops and a Cocoa Pops flavoured milk. I'll be doing the Cocoa Pops in the near future, I just felt like Fruit Loops was a little bit more interesting. We all know that Cocoa Pops is just like a chocolate milkshake, only crunchy, but Fruit Loops has never really been that cereal to me that stands out for the milk that you have afterwards. Cocoa Pops, for sure. But Fruit Loops, not so much. But before we get into the milk, very quickly, I need you guys to check out my last video, which came out a super long time ago, as I'm doing a giveaway with Nippies. If you haven't entered the competition yet, be sure to watch that video and find out how to enter. I'm giving away both strawberry and chocolate milk hats. But let's get straight back into this milk. Now you're going to only be able to find it in the long life milk sections of, I believe, Woolworths. I'm not too sure if it's at Coles and I haven't yet checked IGA. You're going to be forced to buy a pack of three, which, you know, kind of bumps up their price a little bit unreasonably and you won't even know if you like it. So if I don't like this one, I don't know what I'm going to do with the remaining two. I, I guess I'll just give them to someone else. Classic move to just pass the burden onto someone else. For a carton, it's kind of square. Cartons are usually a little bit more rectangular in shape. I haven't ever seen one designed in shape like this. As expected, you've got Toucan Sam on the front. It's a pretty straightforward design, but let's open it up now. Everybody, place your bets. What color is this going to be? I don't even know what color it could be. I, I have no idea. I think it's probably going to be a really pale yellow. That's the only color that kind of feels possible to me. Other than that, let's find out. Well, it seems that I was wrong. It's a very pale pink. Now I am going to say I've already gotten a whiff of it and it smells honestly quite nice. I don't know if this is an accurate way to describe it, but it smells like the dust of Fruit Loops, not the Fruit Loops themselves. If anyone's experienced Fruit Loops, for some reason that dust is way sweeter. It reminds me of that. Looking at it in the glass, I can sort of see that it's got the slightest tinge of transparency. Of course, the opacity is like 99% like you can't see through this at all it is truly opaque but you know with some liquids you can kind of just see through it a little bit it's got that. I don't know if that's crazy talk, but maybe there's one person out there who's crazy enough to understand it. The smell from the glass doesn't really back down. It's still incredibly strong. You usually see a lot of milks scaled down in their intensity when they go to the glass, but this one doesn't feel like it has at all, which is very, very unusual. Let's get into the taste test. What the heck? That is... <laughs> That's, whoa, is, is that multiple fruit? What? Okay, so that flavor is really confusing because I feel like I just experienced multiple flavors at different times. We're gonna first start with the viscosity because that's a little bit easier for me to grasp right now. It's quite watery. I, I was spot on with its appearance. It probably has a fairly considerable water content, but that's kind of what you come to expect when you're looking at UHT milks. Nippies is the exception and also one of the Asian milks, which I, I forget its name. And one of the biggest indicators is I can move this on the glass and it immediately falls back down. There's not really any cream being left behind. The flavor is really weird because you can kind of detect multiple different flavors in there. I don't know if Fruit Loops are truly multi-flavored because it might be the case of everything tastes the same. It's just the color that makes us think they taste different, but I'm definitely experiencing different flavors in here, or at least that's how I feel. As an experienced drink, this is very interesting. I don't think I could recommend it as a daily drink. This is something that you drink to experience it. It's not got the appeal that would replace a chocolate milk for me. I'm not too sure why, but a part of my goblin brain back here says that I should definitely put Fruit Loops in it to see how much Fruit Loops per Fruit Loop I can experience. I don't like it, but I don't dislike it either. The serving size is 200 mil, which 
let's be honest, is such a small amount that it's quite easy to finish. So take it with a grain of salt when I say that this is definitely something you can finish in a single sitting. To be honest, I think I have to praise them for what they've done. It actually does taste quite accurate to the leftover milk in Fruit Loops. I believe they've intensified the flavor a little bit because Fruit Loops, I don't remember ever having too much of an intense flavor afterwards like Cocoa Pops. So if you've had Fruit Loops before and drank the milk that's left over afterwards, you know what you're in for except a more intense version of that. You know, I, I don't really know how to rate this drink. I think I'm gonna have to give it a six and a half out of 10. It's not something I like, but it's something that I've enjoyed drinking just because it's such a strange flavor to experience. I myself haven't got Fruit Loops in a very long time as I kind of look after myself a little bit better than that nowadays. But if you wanna trip down Nostalgia Lane, give it a go. That about wraps us up for this week's episode of the Monday Milk Review. Be sure to check out my last video to enter that competition. If you want to support me and this channel, drop a like and maybe even consider subscribing as I make videos every week. Thank you once again and I'll see you next week in the Monday Milk Review. Bye bye!